I'm doing a quick review of the squisher, dump bucket, and push tube. It's pretty standard setup if you want to uh, put a dump bucket on your ATV. This is one of the few options out there once you build something custom. So I had a winch already installed and a different uh, type of plow on my uh, Honda Rancher 420. And I needed something just to move a little bit of gravel and dirt around every now and then. Obviously this is no replacement for like a bobcat or a skid steer, but for what I want to use it for, it might work. So I want to move some gravel. So I figured I'd give it a shot. So it's meant to mount in the rear this uh, under vehicle assembly goes from the back and connects where your hitch would be. In my case, I had to put this two inch drawbar on here because I have a different aftermarket receiver. But for most of you that have just the standard, the, the circle back here, it includes everything you need to just bolt to that. So this runs from the back all the way to the front. And under the front end, there is this setup that bolts to the A-arms on the ATV and it includes different brackets that are pretty universal for all the different manufacturers. And what that also acts as a suspension lock. It's like a leaf spring setup that runs between the two A-arms and it prevents the front suspension on the ATV from sagging when it's got all the load of the plow on the front. So it works pretty good. There's not really very good instructions that come with it, so you kind of got to have to figure it out and take measurements and get everything lined up. And my best suggestion would be just to leave everything loose, and then once you get everything installed, kind of tighten everything down. How the plow works, or the bucket works, it's pretty simple. It just connects to your winch. You can lift it up to dump the load. You pull this here drops the bucket then if you lower let the winch out move back a little bit but it will allow the bucket to drop into place just by dropping the bucket and moving backwards like that and then when you lift it back up it's locked in place ready to go so I'm gonna try it just like that and if it doesn't really work for me I kind of want a little bit more control on the bucket so if this doesn't work out good for me I'll try to put on some kind of actuator to actually control the bucket independently but we're gonna try it like this for now
All right, so that is just a quick little demonstration and to show you what it can do. So it can handle a scoop full of gravel. It's pretty much the max that the, the winch can handle and it's the max that the suspension on the four-wheeler can handle, but it does work pretty good. So maybe that helps you out. We'll see you next time.